Things are heating up at Indian Ranch, the venerable outdoor music shed on Webster Lake. Today's special guest, Grammy award-winning country music star, Marty Stewart and his fabulous superlatives. Stewart has been playing Indian Ranch since he was a teenager. And this son of Mississippi says country has always had a home here at the ranch. You know, I've said it many times, there's a lot of hillbillies up here. And I mean that lovingly. What do you think? Stewart's here helping celebrate Indian Ranch's 75th year of music under the pines. We have a great vibe. Get out of your seat, take a walk down to the beach, look at the water. Some people have actually gone in the water swimming, which, you know, nice way to cool off when it's hot out and go back to your seats. If you do wander down to the beach, you might want to keep an eye out for another Webster Lake institution. Lenny Tremblay, 82 years old, champion water skier. My ambition is to be able to ski and go to at least two more national tournaments. But Lenny likes to travel light. He skis barefoot, a skill he didn't focus on until he was in his 50s at the urging of a friend. He said, just step out of the ski when you're ready. And I went all the way across the lake. <laughs> he made a monster out of me. <laughs> Tremblay says his passion for barefooting has kept him young, but it has taken its toll. I dislocated my shoulder like nine times. I've got two new shoulders and I've got a new knee. I've had a back operation. I uh, tore my Achilles a few years ago. Still, Lenny gets out three to four times a week and barefoots all winter in Florida, though he has reined it in a bit. I don't do much tricks anymore. Those are for kids. <laughs> wow. And despite his injuries, Lenny says that barefooting has been good for his health. He's convinced of it. Well, he also says, look, all nerve endings and in your feet. Yeah. He's not a doctor, but that's what he says. And he says, Barefoot water skiing is like a 40 mile per hour foot massage mm. every time you're out there. So he says it's actually benefited itself. I think it would hurt. That's what he said. I've tried it before. Have you? And? Yeah, it was a painful learning curve. Okay, there you go. And a steep one as well. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I was much younger than 82 though. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony. M. And I'm Shana Seymour. <laughs> we'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.